Good morning, everybody. Can you tell where we're at by my surroundings? Any guesses? Here's a guess. Brian's new house. Welcome to my new house, everybody. What's up, guys? Welcome to the vlog. Coming live straight from Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas! We're here at SHOT Show once again. Welcome down to the lower level. This is where they put the peasants down the lower level. Based on the look of your hair, Dude, you're not far I'm off a, from a peasant. I'm a hair model. <laughs> look at that. Look at the lettuce there. Dude, let, let the sunlight come in. I'm trying to find a stupid font that doesn't look dumb. That's impossible. That's the worst part of editing videos is finding fonts. Can't see that. Anyways, let me give you a look out the window here. We didn't get the greatest view. The flamingo is right there. We are in the Venetian. But we're getting some stuff ready to go and we are gonna go have some more meetings. Kind of like ATA, SHOT Show is similar, but more for the shooting industry. Whether it be, probably talk to a few other folks. We're trying to get the movie wrapped up. So Eric is putting the tickets online on the website. So much work, 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 work. See this? Trying to build out a product page for the movie ticket sales. We are gonna go head down to the showroom floor. So we'll film as much as we can, show you the madhouse of what this particular event is all about. Guys, it sucks for everybody else that's coming on board. What happened? You guys Vegas. spilled your cup. Stay here, Vegas. Guys. Yeah, there's no. watch no. out. Pepsi. It was not us, though. Yeah. Yeah. Not us. Somebody put Good this Pepsi morning. right here. Good morning. Who may be here? Looks like Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> We're at Restaurant Row, man. I'll tell you guys what, this place tricks you to stay in here because we, we stay at the Venetian. We walk down the stairs through Restaurant Row. Restaurant Row, that's where we to ate the, last night. Sugar cane. Here, through a mall, through Restaurant Row, and then to the convention center. And before you know it, you haven't seen like actual day light. You haven't stepped outside in two or three days. It's not good. It's not good at all. For those of you guys who have never been or don't know, we're at the SHOT Show, which is the big trade show convention for pretty much anything shooting sports. So hunting, tactical, like Casey says, any nut and bolt for a gun is here. Right, Casey? Right, right Eric. What's the phrase? It's any nut or bolt built for an AR. Is here. It's any company that builds that is here. First meeting we have to go to is 11 a.m. That's one thing we've learned. Never schedule meetings early. We're gonna go meet up with Mark Borman at Vortex. Go see some of their new products and uh, see what else is up. Vortex has one of the coolest booths and I'll be honest with you, it's always one of the most busy booths in this entire show. There they are. The Furies guys, these actually came out uh, early spring last year. We did a video on them at SHOT oh, Show right. last year, huh? Like yeah. A little so, range intro. Range finding binocular. Oh, Fury. Yeah, that's, that's slick. Oh, 15, new. new, 2018. Their little backpack spotter's cool. This is what I'm running, the angled. This is new too, the Viper HD this year. Oh yeah. This is a sweet, sweet scope for affordable price. And every all Vortex products have the best warranty on the market. Get hands down. By far without a doubt. Going up to the big leagues. Dude, the big leagues. Do you want any sanitizer to eat? Probably. Dude, that just hurts your uh This is what you need when you come into the expo season. We just left the Vortex booth, had a good meeting with Mark Boardman. Those guys are funny, man. I don't know if you guys have seen their YouTube videos, but if you haven't, you need to go to the Vortex page and check out their YouTube channel. I feel like I'm watching the office TV show when I watch their stuff. They're so funny. We are at the Weatherby booth. Again, we had meetings with them earlier today, but they are having a big press conference to announce uh, a big decision that uh, has to do with the company. And so they're about ready to announce it. What do you think the big announcement is, Brian? We may have some inside intel, so I won't ruin the surprise. But it's pretty big. A ton of people came out to check it out. 
This is a really exciting day for us. About three years ago, uh, after being in California for 70 years, it was our 70th anniversary. We began a search uh, amongst a number of western states to find a new home for Weatherby. Uh, I'm honored to be able to carry on a family legacy, but part of a legacy is it means you got to leave a legacy for the generation to follow. And it was obvious uh, being the state that we were in uh, that that legacy wasn't going to be able to continue for as long as we wanted it to. Uh, due to a number of reasons. So we began to look for a new state, and I'm here to tell you that last Thursday, the Wyoming uh, State uh, Loan and Investment Board uh, that's headed up by the governor voted unanimously uh, for some incentives uh, that we told them if that thing goes through, there is no turning back, and that was Thursday, January 18th. They voted on an incentive package to get us to the state of Wyoming. It's gonna be a huge change for us, uh, but I think this is good for us. I think it's good for our industry. I think it's uh, it's good, hopefully, for the state of Wyoming. That's the idea, is that we can move there. Uh, we are uh, moving to a small town in the northern part of Wyoming called Sheridan, Wyoming. And, uh, yes, this is didn't hear that. Sheridan. Weather B, who has been based in California for 70 uh, plus years, have been is moving the company building, which, by the way, manufacturing uh, where's that? We have to Sheridan, Wyoming, building. which is super This exciting. right here Great is the brand new Weatherby facility coming 2019 and, uh, in Sheridan, Wyoming, right up next That's to the big, big news. Big we're just floating around. It's actually day two here at Shaw Show. Yeah, we're at Camp Chef. And I'm seeing this for the first time. I'm seeing this for the first time, and I think we need what? one of these. What is this, like a quad burner? Or is each one five? Six? Six burners. Six burners. Dude, think of all the goodness you can cook on that. How many eggs could you cook on that? That's Ryan up there. That's Ryan up at the cabin where we went, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Famous. These are new. Yeah, so it's the dual fuel that comes in the camel, so it'll have both. So the new ones I noticed, they're you can, either or, you can do propane or butane Correct. with just that simple adapter. attachment, yep. Yep. which comes in every box. Yep. Are they still sold separately? So we do, that's the 200 that has the adapter. Okay. Yeah, there is the 100 and 150, the separate either or, yep. but the combo is the 200, 200 is either or. Yep. Yeah, so guys, we use a striker like crazy, and it comes in three options, either butane, like so, this little guy, or a propane, just like your typical propane canister, or a third option which comes with an adapter that will allow you to do either or. There it is, this is it. This is it right here, guys. This right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's it right there. This is probably one of the most talked about new products, um, at least that we, we heard about anyways. This is the phone scope. I don't know what they're calling scope this. Vision. Scope vision. That's it right there. Here's some footage. It's coming summer 2018. It's pretty wild though. It's some crazy new technology. Yeah, so Garrett and Micah, they do a Hidden Instinct. It's a YouTube channel. This is a lot of their footage shooting coyotes through it. Every aisle. It's just really a cool point of view to add to like a hunting film or just to film your shot so you know exactly where you hit or just to have it so that you can capture your hunt and self film. But the product itself is, I mean, the engineering behind this thing is pretty crazy. And like I said, you get to just look through your scope. There's other products like this, but your phone actually becomes your viewfinder. And a lot of people that have used them, which I haven't, don't like that. Look at Cheston, this guy's like all businessman right now. So professional. Shane is going to show us how to attach this to your rifle scope. It's something I'm excited to use. Alright, so uh, what we have is a snowboard a snowboard ratchet. You just uh, slide that over your scope, ratchet that down on like that, so it'll fit a large diameter, a large variety of scope sizes. So you just take it on here. On a bolt action rifle, you want to mount it up at a 45 degree angle. That way it doesn't interfere with your bolt. Yep, so you just slide it on over, um, ratchet it down on like that. Just tuck that back down in and now you can still use your bolt like normal. There you go, yeah. And you just take your phone scope case like normal and you just throw it up on there. Same case. 
Yep, same case that uh, you use on your spotting scopes and binoculars. So it's kind of hard to focus because it's uh, pretty close. So close, yeah. Check that out. Look yeah, how you, centered that is. You can see that the crosshairs look like an X. We have an app that rotates it and mirrors it back, so you guys will have the correct orientation. The bolt still comes back like normal on most bolt action guns. If you're on an AR-15, you can mount that down at a 90, um, and it works really well. Yeah. So. All right, guys. So this is coming summer of 2018. Exciting, exciting new product. Like I said, Garrett went out and got a ton of coyote footage with this, this thing, and it turned out pretty sweet. All right, guys. We are trying to wrap up our shot show 2018. We got a plane to catch here in about an hour and 20 minutes, um, but we have to do something first. If you guys remember, we sold some hats, some, uh, first light fusion hats last year, and uh, we did what was what, we did, we're gonna donate five dollars for each hat. Yeah. For each uh, first light fusion hat, we sold five dollars is going towards conservation, and we split it between Theodore Roosevelt Conservation Group (TRCP) and BHA Backcountry Hunters and Anglers, and we're gonna give uh, Grant from BHA a check right now from that for fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen hundred bucks to each company, so three grand, all thanks to all of you guys who bought any of the Fusion or the Cypher hats. A lot of people are asking when are they going to be back on the website. We have them on order and they should be coming back in about probably June. So we'll, we'll have a ton of hats in June so we can raise even more money. So thank you very much. Yes, it's all because of you guys that we can donate this money. So thank you. Hey, we're back from Las Vegas. I'm back home where I hang out most of the time and spend most of my days. So we were able to meet up with backcountry hunters and angler and present them the $1,500 check we snagged a really cool picture with them up against this silly little backdrop, like a mountainscape backdrop. They were super excited, super thankful. That's the second time that we've kind of collaborated to um, raise money for backcountry hunters and anglers. Last year, this time at the expo, we had some t-shirts done up and we kind of collaborated on some t-shirts and that was also able to raise $1,800 for backcountry. So that's all thanks to you guys. Don't forget that. Literally, like we're just kind of being the middleman and with your help, we're able to donate. It's not like we don't see it as like, oh, Hush is donating all this money. Like, literally, you guys are when you make those purchases. So, thank you so much. Well, now that we're back home from Vegas, we're going to prepare and get ready for our movie night, which is here in Salt Lake on February 7th. And just so you know, tickets have already sold out for the movie night here in person. But the good news is we always, always upload the movie to YouTube. So, you can check that out Wednesday, February 7th, right here on this channel at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, the full-length movie. That will be up for everyone online, so I hope you guys will watch it. It's our hunt with Adam Weatherby down in New Mexico for elk. It's a rifle hunt, and it's the first time that we've had a rifle hunt for the movie premiere. So I think you guys are really gonna like it. We, uh, I can't give away all the details. Just check that out, mark it on the calendar. And if you are not already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the red button down below here. That will allow you to Get notifications of when we upload. That way, you know, you just make sure that you don't miss out. Anyways, just want to say thank you for watching the video. We hope you guys had a good week. It's Thursday. It's time to prepare for a weekend. And out here in Utah, it's just cold and snowy. So, won't be much going on other than just getting ready for the expo. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next clip. <laughs>